We would like to thank everyone for attending this public hearing hosted by the Florida Department of Transportation to provide information on the proposed access management improvements for US 17-92 at Westgate Drive. This hearing and project are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to Florida Department of Transportation compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting the department personnel shown here. All inquiries or concerns will be handled according to Florida Department of Transportation procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. Existing Conditions US 17-92 is a four-lane divided roadway with a posted speed of 55 miles per hour. Westgate Drive is a two-lane undivided roadway that provides access for the residents of the Good Samaritan Society community. A full median opening is provided with one left turn lane for eastbound traffic. Qualitative Assessment of Intersection Operations an assessment of the existing intersection was conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation in 2014. The assessment made recommendations based on a review of the operations and safety of the intersection. It was recommended to convert the full median opening at Westgate Drive to a directional median opening and to construct an eastbound left turn lane at the median opening 1,200 feet east of Westgate Drive. What is access management? Access management is the careful planning of the location, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, interchanges, and street connections. The purpose of access management is to provide access to land development in a manner that preserves the safety and efficiency of the transportation system. Good access management practices strive to separate conflict points by providing a reasonable distance between driveways and between median openings. And this brings us to another question. What are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. At a four-way intersection, there are as many as 36 conflict points, but this diagram represents the 18 major conflict points, with major being defined as angle, left turn and U-turn conflict points. One scenario is a vehicle attempting to make a U-turn. That vehicle can cross paths with another vehicle, making a left turn from the side street, and it can also cross paths with a vehicle traveling straight in the opposing direction. So that situation has two conflict points. Access management and conflict points. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points along a roadway by limiting the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. Conflict points decrease as the median opening becomes more restricted through access management. So, as you take a full median opening with 18 major conflict points, again with major representing angle, left turn, and U-turn conflict points, and you start to restrict movement, the number of conflicts decreases. For example, if you create a two-way directional median opening where a vehicle can only turn left or U-turn, in both directions from the median and cannot turn left from the side roads, you reduce the conflict points from 18 to 4. If you create a left-in only median opening where a vehicle can turn left or U-turn 
in one direction only from the median, you reduce the conflict points from 18 to 2. If you close the median opening entirely, you are left with zero major conflict points. Correctable crashes. Not all crashes are correctable by access management. Collisions that could be reduced by the modification of the existing median opening were the focus of this study and included left turn collision, right angle collision, and side swipe collision. Understandably, you may have more questions about access management. The Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. We have a few copies here today that you can take with you. The brochure is written in a question and answer format that is easy to understand. If we do not have enough brochures to go around this evening, the brochure can also be downloaded from our website at www.cflroads.com. Now we will talk further about changes that are being proposed on US 17-92 at Westgate Drive. The median opening at this location is being converted to a two-way directional median that allows left turn and U-turns in both directions from the median, but does not allow left turns from the side roads. With a two-way direction median, the major conflict points are reduced from 18 to 4. This type of opening will stop traffic from crossing six lanes. Proposed Conditions Westgate Drive This rendering shows what the intersection at Westgate Drive will look like once construction is complete. A traffic separator and left turn lane for westbound traffic will be constructed as part of this project. Proposed conditions east of Westgate Drive. Improvements will also be constructed at the next median opening to the east. A new left turn lane for eastbound traffic will be constructed along with additional pavement to the north to accommodate future U-turns. Schedule and Budget. The schedule for this project includes design and construction phases. The design of the median improvements will be completed in the fall of 2018 with construction beginning in 2019. The estimated construction cost for the project is $650,000. Comment cards are available here tonight. Please complete a comment card and return it tonight or send it by mail or email to the attention of Ada Vargas or Jean Verano by February 22, 2018. Please be advised that all correspondence received related to this project will be placed in the Florida Department of Transportation project file and is subject to release to the public if requested. Contact information is provided on this slide for the Florida Department of Transportation and consultant project managers for this project. We'd like to thank everyone for attending this US 17-92 at Westgate Drive public hearing. We hope you have found this information helpful. All documents from this public meeting will be available on www cflroads.com. Project team members are here to address your questions. You also may submit questions or comments on the comment forms you received when you signed in.